Hello, today we are talking about indoor air pollution. If outdoor air pollution wasn't um, enough of a bummer, we're going to talk about indoor air pollution, which is actually more harmful um, today. So I'm going to share some slides with you. Sorry. I'm being a little slow here. Okay. So, here are our goals um, for learning about indoor air pollution. So, by the end of this video, you'll be able to do these three things. Make sure you write them down in your notes. Take a second, pause the video, and write. Okay. So, where does indoor air pollution come from? Well, it comes from the building structures that we live in and also carrying out the day-to-day -day activities um, in the homes in the buildings where we work and live. So common sources of air pollution in developing countries are predominantly from cooking fires in the home um, and this also disproportionately affects women um, since women are the ones doing most of the cooking. Um, in developed countries, uh, building materials are actually where most of our indoor air pollution comes from. So here are some factoids about indoor air pollution. Um, it is, so pollutants inside can be two and a half times higher or more concentrated than in, in buildings than they are outside. Um, if you are inside of a car, so if you think your car is safe, uh, pollutants can be 18 times higher than concentrations outside of your car, um, especially when you're stuck in traffic with a lot of cars. Um, another interesting fact, we spend 70 to 98% of our time inside. Um, so that means that we are exposed to indoor air pollution a whole lot more than we are to outdoor air pollution. So. Um, yeah, that makes me want to go outside more. Okay, so we have um, the four most dangerous air pollutants and a bonus. So we have tobacco smoke, um, formaldehyde, radioactive radon, and particulates. Uh, and our bonus dangerous indoor air pollutant is infectious agents like bacteria and viruses. So um, tobacco smoke obviously comes from cigarettes and uh, the major threats that it poses are causing lung cancer, respiratory ailments, and heart disease. Um, formaldehyde is found in a lot of um, furniture, stuffing, uh, paneling, like the the stuff that's on your walls and on your floors and on your ceilings, um, particle board, and foam insulation. It can irritate a lot of our tissues, like our eyes, throat, skin, and lungs. It can cause nausea. It can also cause dizziness. Oops. Um, and then also in some areas of the country, uh, we're concerned about radon-222 gas. So um, this is a naturally occurring radioactive element that's found in the soil and rock surrounding the foundation of a lot of houses and also surrounding water supplies. Um, and the big health concern there is that um, it can, it has been shown to um, cause lung cancer. And then we have particulates such as pollen and pet dander, um, dust mites, cooking smoke particles. And so those things just irritate our lungs. They can cause asthma attacks for anybody who has asthma, uh, itchy eyes, runny nose, and they can uh, irritate other lung diseases. And then infectious agents like bacteria and viruses. Um, so these come from us. So people carry around bacteria and viruses with them, and obviously those can cause illnesses. So especially in the wintertime when we spend more time inside, um, we tend to be exposed to more infectious agents. Okay, so there has been very little effort 
um, devoted to reducing and regulating indoor air pollution in the U.S. and all over the world. So if we're going to protect ourselves from indoor air pollution, we have to take steps as individuals to protect ourselves. So some steps that we could take um, in developing countries to have more efficient cooking stoves and to vent the cooking exhaust outside instead of just letting it burn in the house, um, to have well-maintained monitors in our homes. So these are things like radon monitors, carbon monoxide monitors, smoke detectors, those kinds of things. Um, we can not buy products that have formaldehyde in them. Um, we can take off our shoes before we go in our house. Um, so that way we're not tracking in dust and pollen from outside. Um, we can store chemicals and gas and solvents uh, properly, which means not inside the same structure that you live. So um, in a separate detached shed from your house. And to make sure that um, wood burning stoves and fireplaces are properly installed and maintained so that all of their exhaust is going outside and not inside where you are breathing all the time. And then um, to prevent indoor air pollution, uh, reducing poverty has a huge impact on that. And um, to and so we can distribute efficient cooking stoves, so that leads to this over here, and um, to ban indoor smoking. So that's so why in a lot of places, indoor smoking is just not allowed. All right. So. There we go. So that is the basics on indoor air pollution. We will investigate farther in class tomorrow. Um,